Hey ladies, how you doing? Lisa here with Lisa Fisher Styling. Super excited to introduce you to Kelly Turner, manager and certified bra fitting expert here at Soma at Issaquah Highlands. And we are super excited to also share with you uh, really confidence around the subject of intimate apparel, specifically on the subject of wearing the right bra that best serves you. So. Kelly, why don't we start with talking about uh, measurements and doing the, the right type of fitting and how do we do it? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so the, for those of you who have heard me before, I'm gonna say this, some of the same things that you've heard before. A bra fitting is about the fit. It's less about the size, it's not about the numbers, it's not about what band size, what cup size, there is no perfect size. We're all perfect. It's about how the bra fits and how it makes Love you it. feel how it makes you feel, because your image starts with how you present yourself and what you want to project and what you wear underneath your clothes is a big part of that. Mm -hmm. So, that's my PSA mm -hmm. right like, now. That's why I like your sign. It's what's underneath that really counts. So I don't know if you can yep. see the sign, but I'll show it to you later. It's awesome. And you've heard me say this too, right? <laughs> Nobody else needs to know what you're wearing underneath everything. They may not know. You may want them to know. That's up to you, but you know what you're wearing and you know how it makes you feel. Yeah, so totally. All yeah. right, all right, so bra fitting, what to expect? Um, I'm gonna just use my mannequin here for a little demonstration. There's a couple of key components when we do a bra fitting that we look at. The first one is band size. I'm just gonna use my tape measure. We do a couple of measurements on you for band size. And this mannequin's pretty small, so we measure the band size just right underneath your bust line right there. And she's measuring a 32. And then the next measurement that we do. May, may I ask you a question? Do yes. you do the measurement when you have a bra already on or is this without a bra? We do, yeah. Okay. We ask you to have your best fitting bra. And again, it's a starting point. So use it as okay. a starting point. There's a little bit of there's a little bit of science to it, and then there's a little bit of art that's applied too, right? Okay. Do the measurement, you just usually as a starting point, and then you try things on. One bra may work for you, another one may not. And you may be different sizes and different bras as well. So, okay. yeah. Yeah, we hear that a lot. A lot, yeah. yeah. It's less, and you know, just with clothing too, mm -hmm. right? It's less about the size and more about the form, fit, and function, mm -hmm. and the feel of it. Totally. So, okay, so then the next measurement we do, and this is really quick, it's kind of sliding around a little bit because she's got a nice little smoothing bra on here. The next measurement we do is around the fullest part of your bust line, and that gives us the cup size. So in this case, we know that she's, yeah, she's actually about a 34C, so I know I kind of measured a little bit smaller here just because the mannequin isn't really wearing anything underneath there, but yeah. So we start with a 34C on here. This actually is a 34C bra that we have on her. That's one way of measuring. Okay. You want to see something new and cool? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So can I just read yeah. you? First of all, you measured this section here, mm -hmm. which is for this the is band. The band so, size. And then you take the same measurement, but then you come up here above the, the cup. Fullest the part, fullest part. The fullest part right of your here. cup. And okay. technically speaking, the difference between the band size and the number of inches in between determines your cup size. So one inch difference is A cup, two inches B cup, three inches C cup, and that kind of thing. So when do you get to the doubles? So Yeah, our size, uh, different, different companies use different sizing, but okay. ours uh, here at Soma, we do A, B, C, D, double D, triple D, and G. And G. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. And our sizes go from 32A to 44G. Okay. So coming in and having a professional bra fitting, mm -hmm. right? And then you have some science behind it in terms of what's the correct right. size. And then the next is the different types of bras right. and what they do for you right. and for the garment you're and wearing. And depending the type of look you want to create okay. or or other things that you, that you have considerations would be things like would, you know what's the shape of your breasts and how far are you, I'm going to stand up a little bit so you can see, you, whether you're a closed set or whether you're more wide, wide set, okay. that gives a different profile and that determines you know your bras will fit differently based on that how your shoulders are shaped and whether you have shoulders that are maybe more sloped or more mm -hmm. straight across. Perfect. Right? That determines some of the, the bras that are better fit for okay. you too. Okay. So we can go through that too. Yeah. Um, so the So let's show you something new that we have here at Soma. I think this is pretty cool. I'm gonna show it really quickly. Yeah, this is interesting. I'm this is new brand technology. New technology wow. in the world of bras. So yeah, she looks very happy here. This is called <laughs> our Innafit bra sizing <laughs> puff. Her forward a little bit or bring her forward there we go a little bit okay and then we'll turn around so this is a uh, proprietary to soma it's a new technology that we have that we just released in the last couple of weeks 
This is like a sports bra. You come in and put it on again with your best fitting bra that you have. Okay. Um, and there's a little power battery pack in back. There we go. It's like a wow, three, this is high tech. Three volt battery, so it's super super easy. Not very much. There's four different um, measurements that it does. So you put this thing on. We turn it on. We sync it up with our iPad. It does four different measurements, and then it gives you your bra size. How cool is that? What, so you come in, you put this on, and is this available? Is it one size fits all, or this they're different? This is one size, yeah. Within our um, within our ranges, you know, from 32A to 44G, um, okay. is kind of the range that we stick in. I don't, you know, we could try outside of that. I'm not sure what it would do, sure. but sure. yeah. Um, you come in, you try it on. You can buy it too if you are someone who changes sizes a lot, or if you're in between weights and you want to, you know, you want to buy it and measure yourself at home. Mm -hmm. Order your things, you know, online. You can do that oh, as well. But okay. we're happy to do it here in the store too. Wow! So amazing, super, super cool, and it has been very accurate. I think, I think I've only seen one time that it was maybe a little bit fluctuation in sizes and everything mm -hmm. too. But it also. Um, it also recommends based on you know your size and your shape. Mm -hmm. It'll recommend several different bras for you too. So okay. it's not meant to replace us here because of course we love to help you guys in person. <laughs> but um, but yeah, super cool new technology. So there you go. That's very interesting. I know. So then next, what we're going to talk about are the different types of bras. And and Kelly's just a master um, at uh, her ability to just walk through different bras and different types of undergarments, and then also for the different breast shapes. So. Let's talk so about here we that. go. Yeah. Okay, so first let's talk a little bit about uh, your bra wardrobe. So we always say wear one, rest one, wash one. So that's that's three bras. I don't know about y'all, I don't like doing laundry that often, so mm -hmm. I like to have at least five to seven because, you know, you, you want to wear them once and then mm -hmm. wash them mm -hmm. because your body oils do, you know, sweat, we sweat, mm -hmm. right? They do absorb and so you want to make sure and wear your bras and then wash them. So you want to have plenty of them in rotation. Okay. So a good wardrobe is, you know, for me would be five to seven plus. I of course have a lot more, shamefully, but you know, whatever. Ah, oh, no. At least three yeah. to five. At least three <laughs> to five. Awesome. <laughs> well, because working with Lisa, I like to kind of coordinate everything. So there's that. Put yeah. that out there. Okay. So here we have a lot of different types of, of bras. Um, and we have them in just general categories of what do you like in your bra. So when you come um, when you come in, if you come in, or one of the things you're considering in your bra, how do you like it to feel? What, what's important to you? Do you like wires? Do you opposed to wires for whatever reason? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a specialist in that area. I know there are, you know, people are having opinions about whether they want underwires in their bras or not. Um, does give good shape, but sometimes it's just more comfortable not to have them. So mm -hmm. um, we do have styles in both wired and wire free. Mm -hmm. So, and most of our bra styles do have a wire free version as well. So that's mm -hmm. just a little different option to think of as well. And it also helps with people who have maybe had um, surgeries, mm -hmm. you know, either implants or reductions or, you know, or partial or lumpectomies or something if they have any sensitivities there. Okay, so, good to know. Yeah, good to know. Good to know. We can fit around that too. Okay, so categories of bras. I'm going to start here on this side. Come on, bring this in. Lovely assistant Lisa is going to. Oh my gosh, she's coming to me in close. Okay, girl. There you go. Okay, so um, I'm going to go in from the most supportive. We have what's called superior support. This is actually a stunning support bra. A couple, um, a couple styles of this that I, I have here. One is just our regular balcony style. Um, this has got a heavier strap on it so it's really good for people like me who are a little bit bustier and have wide shoulders and kind of need a little bit more support up there so remember 80 percent of the support that you get from your bra is not from your straps it's from your band so we reel back on that just a minute um I mean, it's really important to have the right band size because that's where most of the support in your bra is coming from if you're getting things like redness on your shoulders, around your breast, if you're getting wires poking up in your armpit, mm -hmm. or if your bra is sliding down, I'm sorry, I try to stand on my tiptoes so I can do this, but I think they see where I'm going. Mm -hmm. um, if your bra is sliding down or your straps are falling off, you're wearing the wrong size. Totally. Yep. And 80, you know, depends on who you ask, but 80, 90% of the women out there are wearing the wrong size. So, so. We can help with that, it's yeah, good. Wow. And, and a good bra will help you. I know a lot of women are concerned about looking too big or you know or they, they want to minimize right 
I mean, let's face it, some of us mm -hmm. want to minimize a little bit, mm -hmm. right? Give something to that. And then some of them want to, you know, create a little bit of volume too. Wearing the right size is really important to doing that. Wearing the wrong size bra, you know, if you're wearing a bra that's too small, you're going to fall over mm -hmm. and you actually look bigger. You're creating volume mm -hmm. by doing that, okay? Um, and if you're wearing the bra that's, you know, that's too big, it's going to slide down and you're going to have mm -hmm. the same issue. You're not going to be where you need to be, which is right between your elbow and your shoulder. So, okay, now I went backwards on that just a little bit. But now let's talk about different styles of bras, okay? Okay. Very supportive. Also very pretty. This Gorgeous. is a pretty bra. Um, has a more structured wire that comes up and around. So your wire determines the shape that you get and kind of it, it holds your breasts. It's like a cradle for your breasts. Your, your wire should never be poking you in places that's not comfortable. It shouldn't mm -hmm. be poking you like in the middle of your chest. It shouldn't be poking you mm -hmm. in your underarm. It shouldn't be poking you in your breasts at all. Mm -hmm. It should be cradling, mm -hmm. cradling, okay? So one of the other things to consider about that too is, is the center part of your bra. Is it sitting flat and flush against your chest? I like to use this one for a demonstration because it kind of fits. Um, see how it's kind of, you want it to sit flat back there. If it's pulling away, then you're either your cuff size is too big. Yeah, you can show on this mannequin, that's a good one too. If it pulls away right here, I'm gonna undo her so we can demonstrate this. If it pulls away right here in the middle and you've got a gap in the middle of your bra right there, either one of two things is going on. Your band size is too big and they're falling down and the girls aren't supported or and most people you know don't necessarily think about this your cup size is too small and your breasts are actually pulling your bra away from your body and in that case you're gonna get you know redness and sore you're probably a little tense in your back that's not comfortable either mm -hmm. yeah yeah and it just it so it kind of creates a look that you don't want either so we want that fit and flush right against your chest right there okay mm -hmm. all right Thank you, girlfriend, for demonstration. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk about other bras. So we've talked about this one that can hang this one back up. Um, another good thing to have in your bra wardrobe is a strapless bra. Hard to fit strapless bras. But what I love about this, um, and I, you know, I'm sure you can get them else, you know, other places as well. This is a multi-strap, multi-way strap system. Here, let's show just a little bit in here. I think you can see there's different hooks inside here, mm -hmm. there and around the cup. So you can detach the straps and move them to different places. So you could make this um, kind of like a v-neck in front. You could cross it in back. You can make it a halter, depending on what neckline you have that you're wearing. You know, if you have a deep V something, maybe you just want to wear this as a strapless, right? Or if you have a, you know, a line that has, um, it has a high neck in front, but it's backless, or you know, where it goes down in the back. You'd want to create something where you cross in front, so you still have that support, but you don't have your bra strap showing. So, mm -hmm. good thing for everybody to have in their wardrobe. And these are hard to fit. The other thing I love about um, the Soma bras, I'll show you this real quickly. Um, especially in the strapless ones, they're very elastic, but they have the silicone grip along the top and at the bottom here so that it grips and stays in place and it doesn't slide around on you. Cause there's nothing worse than wearing a strapless bra and you get hot or you start moving around and your bra starts to slide down cause then you're gonna have a wardrobe malfunction. So, mm -hmm. so okay. question on yeah. that one. Yeah. Uh, so for clients that I work with uh, that have a larger cup size, let's say on um, the, the 